It makes it worth it. And then it's cool because I get to see my cars around on TV on Sunday. So that's pretty cool too. Yeah. <laughs> like I built that race car with my bare hands. And now I'm watching it run on the track. Those are my welds running on the track. Like it's a cool feeling. Especially when we win, that's even better. My name is Amara McDonough and I'm a welder fabricator at Stuart Haas Racing. I went to Mitchell for welding technology. I'm mostly in the finished fabrication and I make side skirts and exhaust skirts and a lot of the parts that go in the cars. And then any extra welding that needs to be done around the shop, any extra project pretty much comes to me. It's pretty cool. Well, I first came to Mitchell starting when I was 16. Um, I did the dual enrollment. I was homeschooled and I got my first degree around 19. And then I tried to go to Institution Charlotte and didn't finish. And I stopped school for a while because it just wasn't right at the time and lived my life. And then one day I'd always wanted to try welding and I kind of, someone had let me try it once or twice. And then I thought it's just one of those things you need to be well trained if you want to be taken seriously. Um, but I just tried it and I loved it and I ended up being pretty good at it and I didn't want to stop. <laughs> so I kept going. I always try to better myself in general. So if I can do something, do I will. And Mitchell's great for that. It's one of the reasons I came back for my second degree here because I had such a great time my first time around. And I thought there's no better place to come get, you know, come back. A place I already love and know that there's great teachers that actually care. It was kind of a wild hair. Like I just need to try welding. I've always wanted to. And I had the money, so I invested in some classes. And it was just, I just loved it. And I just couldn't stop. <laughs> and then I thought, all right, I need to take this seriously if I'm this good. Um, we pretty much went straight into the book stuff, which I really appreciate now. It was really helpful, like, as I went down the line and picked things up. Oh, that's what the book was talking about. I was able to make the connection, especially in my job. Just different things have really come together because we had all the book stuff first. We have four cars. The team themselves, they're all like, they all have their own little personality and character, and they do different things to the cars. And I have to make the side skirts and the exhaust skirts, and then any of the parts that I find. But even in the shop, at some level, every day I have to be prepared for anything. But I think that's fun. Everyone has like their part on the race car, I guess. <laughs> I know that I'll be okay because I'm a welder and I can pretty much do anything. I honestly had a seriously difficult time landing anything. Because it was just hard to get a job as a girl, for me anyway. I'm sure it's not like that for everyone, but I feel like I was busted through a glass ceiling. I hope to make it easier for girls in the future. I would never have expected any of these things to happen, but they never would have happened if I hadn't taken that first step see if you like it before you even think about going in it. Um, like I did, you know, you, gotta, you never know until you try. So it's always been a saying of mine in general. And this was one of those things for me, like I'm not gonna know what it's like unless I just try it. Don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. <laughs> never be afraid to try something new. Think you wanna do something, you should try to go experience it as much as you can or get yourself involved with it and then see if you actually like it or not. And if you don't, don't be afraid to say you don't like it and go do something else. Invest in yourself, I guess. And sometimes there's never a better time than the present. If you don't do it, you're never going to.